the Earth is 70% uncarbonated water. Therefore, the Earth is flat. It is Mike with Iceberg Gaming here with this week's episode of the Noob Gold Challenge, your step-by-step -step guide to making gold on a new server. And just a reminder for all the new people, welcome to the channel, by the way. This is a series of videos, so if you're starting here in this video, I do recommend that you start at the beginning of the series or and or check out my video on how to make your first million gold. That will give you a good starting point, and then you can ask me any questions along the way either in the comment section of the video or you can join my YouTube, uh, my Discord, or you can join, join me for a live streaming. Easy for me to say. Before we get into today's video, or this week's video, I guess, technically, this video is sponsored by Catapult and Soulless Legions. Soulless Legions by Mech21 Games. Currently estimated release date is Q1 of 2023. Breaking the limits of strategy games by hosting thousands of ability combinations, Soulless Legions is a free-to-play online PvP tug-of-war combination strategy game that allows players a lifetime of customization and strategic inquiry. Current and upcoming key features include P free-to-play, no pay-to-win, deck building, tug-of-war style, dual game mode, 1v1 PvP, ranked and casual game modes, single player bot game mode, a ranking system with a leaderboard, unique factions, two of them, 90 abilities, four maps, and you can share your decks with other players. An in-game cosmetic store is available to customize your units and maps to stand out against your competitors. Check out Soulless Legions now on Steam, coming 2023. And now that the bills are paid, let's make some gold. Weeks, uh, but who knows with how terrible everything. Last week, we ended the week with 9,483,000 gold on hand. And this week, we are starting out with 9,521,000 gold this week. I'm actually surprised we uh, had such an increase with our raw gold because I really spent a lot of gold doing uh, crafted transmog and leveling up my transmog my profession so I could get some crafted transmog ready. So I'm a little surprised that we made that much raw gold uh, given how much just how much I spent this week. I probably spent like twenty thousand gold, and uh, we still went up by like forty thousand gold. So that's pretty cool. And up on the auction house right now we have three hundred and eight and. 398 posted auctions. If they sold right now, they would be worth two and a half million gold. And we've got three sales coming in worth a little under 200 gold. Now let's get into this week's sales. We've got 251 sold auctions this week. Our first hundred is coming in at around 47,000 gold. So that's a little lower than we would like for our gold per sale, but it's not terrible. Uh, we've got a lot of really low sales because everything is still garbage. Uh, I'm still I'm still thinking that prices are going to recover, but uh, I was hoping they would have started recovering already. But people apparently are still panic selling, so everything is still trash. But anyways, let's get into it. So starting things off right away, we've got some heavy boring leather from our dragon farm. The heavy leather is still okay. Uh, it's not where I would like it, but it is still worth doing in my opinion. And then I did a shadow ghast ingot flip this week. The price on the ingots finally came up, so that was profitable. Arctic fur is in the toilet. <laughs> it's still a, a decent price. Well, I mean, it's bad for that, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, and then we've got a lace strike ore sale in here. I did a little bit of current content farming. My thinking was, since everything is such low price anyway, that current content is actually pretty close in price to... Actually, in some cases, it's more than the old world maps that we usually do. So my thinking was that current content would sell quickly so if it's the same price anyway might as well do the current content and get the faster sales but uh it didn't go that well i mean we've got some gold coming in here but not as much as i was hoping anyways our next item of note is a crafted dreadful gladiator piece and then a contender's leather boots this is uh crafted transmog from pandaria leather leather working and another crafted dreadful gladiator piece some more random materials in here. Our elixirs of giant growth. The price is still 
not recovered, so that makes me unhappy because I used to sell those for around 100 gold each. And then another nice crafted Dreadful Gladiator sale in here, some more potion flips. This is just a lot of different things that I had left over from before everything crashed that I, uh, I haven't really recrafted any of this because the price is so bad. Uh, but anyways, we've got a couple more crafted Dreadful Gladiator pieces. So this is the second of these Leather Spalders, so that's pretty cool. And then we've got a Gummy. This is a vendor item, so that is very nice. Love to see that. And then some uh, got some patterns in here and just some Lobby stuff. And this... Okay, guys. So this makes me happy that we got the sale, but I'm also kind of annoyed. Because immediately after I saw this sale come through... I went over to my crafter and I crafted the replacement. I sent over the replacement, got the replacement, and, and I went to list it on the auction house. I had just sold this for this. This is like 15, 16,000 before the auction house got. This had just sold, literally just sold. What do I see? 8,000 gold. Some fool undercut it by half after it had literally just sold. That made me so annoyed. In case you can't tell, I'm a little salty. But anyways, let's get back into it. We've got some other random materials and some enchants in here, and that's going to wrap up the first 100. Let's see what's next. And our second 100 sales is coming in at 31,000 gold. Again, pretty low, but uh, we've got some good things in here and a lot of not-so-good things. Starting things out right away, the first thing of note is a style in purple hat. I have a video coming out about this crafted transmog uh, early next week. And then we've got a crafted Dreadful Gladiator piece in here. And then some random materials, uh, battle flags. Those are BFA, but the price has tanked, uh, like everything else. A nice titanium bar sale in here. Heavy knothead leather uh, from Karazan. I don't really do that farm anymore since this price is so low. I've actually been buying this stuff for crafting. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. Uh, Icy Dragon Scale is, again, from our Dragon Farm. Some more heavy Borean leather from the Dragon Farm. Dreamleaf. Uh, Dreamleaf is in the toilet, the price. So I'm not doing my Dreamleaf farm anymore, which makes me sad because that was one of my favorites. And then a bunch of bags. Made a lot of gold out bags this week. That is uh, one thing that's going well. Got a uh, battle pet in here. Here's another war bear piece. This is the lower, the lower price one. There's two war bear pieces. One of them is usually more, and then this one is usually less. And then our next item is a crafted dreadful gladiator piece. Very nice. And then a, another vendor item in here. Love to see it. And spectral spack sack of spectral spiders is a toy that we get from our year-long Hollow's End Garrison farm. So that wraps up this hundred. Let's take a look and see what's next. And our last fifty-one sales is coming in at ten thousand gold. This is this is pretty pathetic gold per sale. But uh, it is what it is. So let's see what we got. Heavy Savage Leather I usually get from my Firelands farm. Uh, this is still actually not a bad price right now. Oh, we got some bags up here too. Uh, it's still not a bad price right now. It's not where it was, but it's still not. It's still worth farming in my opinion. Uh, nothing really of note in here. Everything is so low. Uh, a couple more bags. And then, oh, I'm so glad this finally sold. This Ring of Cursed Fate I've been trying to sell for several months. Uh, finally sold it for about a 1,000 gold, so that makes me happy. More heavy boring leather from the Dragon Farm. And then a couple more bags. And then a nice Corium Ore Sale. I usually get my Corium from Manitoums. I've been looking for a better farm for it, but uh, there really isn't any good farm for just Corium. You can do a couple different farms and get lucky and get it, but uh, I haven't found a specific farm for Corium other than like Manitoums or um, one of the other instances. I think it's the Shadow Labs. If you go in and reset over and over again, you can sometimes find more Corium. But that's going to wrap up the sales. Let's open it up and get our grand total. And our grand total for the week. Oh, we just got another sale too. That's cool. Uh, our grand total for the week is... 87, 88,000 gold. Holy cow. This is the first time we've been under 100,000 in a while. And that puts our total gold on hand at 9,609,000 gold. So uh, I kind of predicted we were going to be about 9.6, but I thought it'd be a little higher than that. This was, uh, this was a, not a good week. Um, everything is bad. <laughs> 
the markets are terrible. Um, I'm I'm still holding out hope that everything is going to recover, but uh, ew. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, and we'll see you next week for the next episode of the New Gold Challenge, and we'll see you tomorrow for your gold farming guide videos. Thank you so much for watching. Special thank you to my YouTube members, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you for making this channel possible.